Wow, what's up everybody? It's Brandman Sean, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to use social media for yourself, a custom process where you'll be able to choose and know exactly how it applies for you as an artist. It's the network. Now, before that, you have to understand two things. One, the marketing funnel. Number two, you need to understand the difference between brand and music-based social media purposes. First, let's start with this marketing funnel real quick, just in case it's a little refresher. You have awareness, interest, consider, and attempt. Now, it goes down deeper than this, but when it comes to social media platforms, you don't really need to worry about too much more. So, let's focus on what's important. Now, awareness. What does that mean? That's the mass awareness where most people will experience your brand. Interested is, man, I saw something from you, and then I said, hmm, okay, I'm, I'm open to seeing a little bit more. Consider is, man, I, I think I like her. I think I like her. And then intent in this context is they're intentionally engaging with you right becoming a part of your tribe when we talk about those two routes for using social media for your brand you have brand personality based then you also have music based and when you look at it this is the, the bad thing that most artists do especially when you're on the come up this is especially when we're talking about growth they say mm, awareness i want to get seen let me get on YouTube, TikTok, IG, Twitter, whatever. Theoretically, that's, that's nice, right? Let's blow up on everything or let's work on everything until something really starts to pop off. But when you really understand yourself, it'll allow you to use this a lot quicker and consolidate your energy into the right places. So when we're talking about a brand, a lot of people are looking at IG. Traditionally, IG, TikTok, those are two good places for that. YouTube could be a good place for that, but really that's not where it's falling in the reality. YouTube is usually gonna fall somewhere by interest consideration. It just takes a little bit more for people to experience you before they really start to follow you on YouTube. That's how people who are looking from a brand, right, and more personality based, they look at Instagram heavily, especially if you're a business. TikTok is, is just high right now. We, we know what it does, but let's just call it a new age hotter Instagram that's that's pretty much what we're seeing from it and then they're pushing people into their music that is a path to get down it can be a lot of work but it works very well for a lot of people we do know people who have had personalities and got attention to their music right but you have to have a, the ability to do this Let's just lead with music at the top. Brand was the packaging, whether that's my personality or just taking really good pictures or fashion, all these other things, that can open up to almost anything, right? Great interviewer. But when it, we're talking about music, it has to be through your music. Somebody might experience you on the awareness level through radio, a friend might share the music, something like that. But when we look at social media platforms, TikTok almost always is gonna be number one when it comes to music. YouTube falls here, DSPs fall here. DSPs, that's Spotify, Apple Music, for those of y'all who don't know, right? Digital streaming platforms. But both of those can fall into the interest and consideration category. Instagram at that point is down here. There's so many of y'all who are putting Instagram, a lot of energy in Instagram, but you shouldn't be. You should be doing a music-based strategy. And we'll talk about that when you see the clip in a second of me having a conversation with the artist. And we have a video on the channel that you can check out where we're actually going through those. Now, let's go into how do you choose and how do you think about it in terms of customizing these processes for yourself? How do you know which route to go? Music-based, brand-based, trust me. It'll save you a lot of energy, time, maybe even some embarrassment. So check it out. The reprogramming video that you dropped on, on YouTube. Yeah. One of them, you're talking about uh, how if social media is not your thing, then you shouldn't really put too much like attention on it. Can you like expound on that a little bit more? Yeah. So it's if social media is not your thing. Like if you are, if you suck at social media, right, and you have good music, so most of your fans are more music focused anyway. But then you need to be putting more time and strategy into getting your music heard. Right, one of the primary functions of hey, let's do this social media thing is to get attention. Mm -hmm. But if your music is better at getting attention for you than your social media posts, then you need to be focused on getting that music seen, getting that music heard. So then they flip back. That's through music videos, that's through Spotify, things of that nature, ads, and then from there, you now look at social media as a great way to catalog and keep people up to date with your brand or familiar with it, you know, document it some, but that doesn't mean you look at it as a strategy for growth. Doesn't mean not to use social media at all. 
is, hey, this is not my growth strategy. So now I need to focus all my energy on growth, where that's gonna come from. And this is more of a document, less effort, but something that, that still needs to be managed. All right, so that there was exactly why you should be rethinking your approach to social media as an artist and how do you customize yourself to fit into that process. And again, we have a video on the channel where we're breaking down how you think about each platform at that level. So make sure you check out that video. It's in the description below. And also the artist that I was talking to in that conversation, he referenced a series that I did called the reprogramming series. It'll completely change how you approach your whole career as an artist, especially when you are looking to grow. Every artist needs to see that series if they're looking to grow, period. So make sure you check that out as well. And if you're interested in seeing more videos like these, we have more of them coming. I'm telling you a lot more. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. But not only that, hit that notification bell. Join the notification gang because if you don't do that, YouTube's not going to show them to you, particularly when they first drop. And then, you know, it'll be six months later and you'll be like, where was this video where I needed it? Well, it was there. You just didn't know about it. So make sure you hit that notification bell. Join the gang. Other than that, have a good one. See you soon.